what you had to do to get those names right. But now let's go straight to the week in review. Now it has been a busy week for the country and especially for Africa. And with that, the Africa Climate Summit went down in Nairobi this week. And with that came the Nairobi Declaration that was launched that touched on several issues, including climate financing, which topped the agenda that Africa called for debt readjusting, insisting that the debt Africa is taking from multinationals ought to be equal to those other nations that are taking loans as well. And also technology and agriculture has been prioritized as one of the ways that we will see Africa and the world at large be able to fight climate change. And moving on swiftly, immigration reforms now. A new printing machine has been procured. This is according to Interior CS Kithure Kendiki, who this week went back to Nyayo House, making sure that everything is moving smooth and steady. He says that idlers at Nyayo House were kicked out, saying that he will make sure that all the cartels have been kicked out. 45,000 passports pending printing, but he says that these exercises will be fast track to make sure that Kenyans get proper services. Moving on, and ODM cracks the whip. Five ODM rebel impeals were expelled. Raila Odinga says that if you were elected through the ODM, you better play by the rules and toe the line. He says that the MPs have been asked to go back to the people to seek fresh mandate if they have decided to play for the other team. And also, the rebels have been told to toe the line. But... Deputy President Brigadi Gashagua had a problem with Raila sending parking his members saying that if he wants to sit with the president, then, then what is the problem if his MPs are sitting with the president? Moving on, and the Sugarcane Conference, this has ended today. It was a two-day conference that sought to find solutions bedeviling the sugar sector. And leaders pledged to eject cartels in this industry. President William Ruto is also big on this. And they want the sugar board to be restored. They say that the food authority that is in the place has not managed to deliver and stakeholders are pushing for debt to be written off. The debt goes all the way to around 117 billion shillings. This is what trended this week on Week in Review. But now, let's take a short commercial break.